rooted in Portland, Oregon, exp ma making experimental theater. Yes. <laughs> What I'm about to share with you today is a piece from a show that I've been working on for the past year and a half. It's called Fronteriza, and it is my response, my uh, resistance to the past three and a half years. Uh, <laughs> I started going home a year and a half ago to home to, to El Paso and uh, Laredo raised both places and I had the opportunity my first trip was actually to San Antonio and then Dilly and then Laredo and I interviewed people I interviewed my family and I also interviewed workers from the family detention center there in Dilly Texas and so this is actually my first bit of writing you're the first audience that will hear it yeah <laughs> my knees are knocking um, <laughs> So here we go. Security. They held fluorescent green reusable shopping bags, one or two of them a woman. Something about them caught my attention. Maybe it was the little boy playing, playing by balancing on the base of the turnstile. He couldn't have been older than two. But then again, his mother was small, maybe he was older. I was in the long, slow-moving security line, waiting to lay my phone on the glass, get patted down and air blown, and later held captive by TSA because I forgot to finish my water. <laughs> they were three women, four children, just ahead of me in line. There were so many of us in line, so many that we overflowed out of the zigzag cattle corral that we shuffled our way through. I watched the young boy play, maybe because he was little and adorable and open and observant, or perhaps because he was playing a familiar game, one that my girl plays when forced to wait in tedious situations. Or maybe because he looked like me, like my girl, brown eyes, brown skin, dark eyes, open, gleeful eyes. Or, or maybe there was just something, something about them, the way they all had the same clothes, the same primary colored clothes and the bright green shopping bags. Maybe they were some of them, the them that I had spent so much time hearing about. They were two girls and two boys and three women, three mothers. They, the kids, looked between the ages of five and one. The oldest, a girl, was in the front, first of the group. She was sick, a cold, or maybe it was allergies, probably a cold. She stood close in front, leading her mom. They both wore the same face, standing as mirror images, the little carrying a tissue, coughing. Behind them was another, a girl, who was walking independently, away from her mother, but between her mother and her brother, him, the one, the one I was watching, that one, who was playing. She was trying to play too, but was called back, both of them called back to mom, feeling maybe they were too far, or maybe too distracting, or drawing too much attention. I tried to catch her eye, the little girl, but didn't. My eyes met with the little boys who shyly smiled back with a sly, mischievous smile and curiosity in his eyes. But she, she quickly returned to mom and mom met my eyes for the briefest of seconds. I didn't know what to do. I tried to smile but didn't want to invade. Our eyes met and as best as I could, I tried to see. I wanted her to feel seen. But I looked away. Too quickly, I looked away. I tell myself it was to give her, to give them peace, comfort, to leave them alone to, in their public solitude. But in truth, I looked away because it hurt to see. 
It hurt too much, too deep. But he kept catching my eye, his playful curiosity, this little boy in the red shirt. I kept seeing him, and through him, them. He was so little, I listened to his small voice, trying to remember how big my girl's hands were at what age. So young. It hurt too much, all that I had heard, all that I had learned. But that was the easy part. I have the easy part. I, I don't know what it's like to leave everything behind for fear of my life or the life of my child. I haven't endured weeks, months of travel, sustaining myself, my family, on hope for a new life. I am lucky, fucking privileged. I was born on this side, the lucky side, as was my daughter. One mother, one daughter, one mother, son, and daughter, one mother and a baby, maybe one, drinking what looked like apple juice from a bottle, three of them, children, walking independently, one being carried, two making tentative eye contact, they, the they that I had learned about, they wear dark jeans that fit poorly, are too long, one has her zipper down, they wear primary colored shirts and sweatshirts and have rain jackets, solid colors, tenderness, togetherness, they are tender, or is that me? They are weary, or is that me? Why does no one else see them? Kleenex, arms folded, sick, playful, open, red shirt, boy, trust in his eyes, trust in his eyes. Couldn't be older than two, mom suspicious, but somehow, sometime later, we share a smile. I see, I unsee. I see, I unsee. I see one mother, one daughter. It's all too much, too much all of the time. And all of them, be it all of the time becomes unbearable. I see, I unsee. One mother, one daughter, one mother, son, and daughter. I choose not to see. I choose not to feel, not to hear. I see, I see. One mother and son, I unsee them who so badly need me to see, to witness. I unsee. It's easier to unsee so that I can go on. I unsee. One mother, daughter, one mother, son and daughter, one mother and son. I see a baby. I unsee a baby. I see. I see. I see a baby, maybe one, drinking what looked like apple juice from a bottle, three of them, children, walking independently, one, well, one, being carried, two of them making eye contact. I unsee for my heart, my peace, my mind, I cannot, I choose to not, I cannot take on their burdens, I unsee, I see. One mother, daughter, one mother, son, and daughter, one mother and son, a baby, maybe one drinking from a bottle, three of them, children, walking independently, one being carried, two making tentative eye contact with me. I see. I unsee. I see. They're all wearing dark jeans. They're all too long. I see. They're all wearing primary colored sweatshirts. I see. They have new rain jackets, all solid colors. I see tenderness, I see tenderness. They are tender, or is that? They seem weary, or is that? Why does no one else see them? I unsee, I unsee, I un, I see. I see. Thank you.